Alright guys, welcome back to another uh, Blockbench tutorial. So we are officially ready to export this particular mod and uh, import it into mCrater. So what we want to do is uh, first go to our thing, make sure to save the project and um, just make sure that you have everything saved. So if you need to go back and edit the model, then you can. Uh, you want to go to the export and then go and click on export Java entity and um, It will say please note that exporting the file will write only and to be able to Edit the model basically just also save it. So once you do that uh, what you want to do is um, navigate somewhere that you can actually easily access like your desktop or whatever and then uh, save it to there now uh, you also want to make sure that you have your um, penguin texture. I actually have the texture over here in this folder. So we'll be um, just dragging that out there and uh, we can close that now. So the next thing that we need to uh, do is open up mCrater. So I'm gonna open up 1.9.1 uh, and uh, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a new workspace. So I'm gonna go Penguin and then we're going to let this generate. Now if you have a current workspace then what you wanna do is just import the model but I don't actually have a current workspace that we can work with. So going to go to textures and then what we're going to do is import texture and then we're going to go down to um, the one that says uh, import mob GUI logo etc textures and then we're going to go and select our desktop select our penguin that's our penguin texture now and then what we're, we want to do is go to our 3d models and textures uh, texture mapping and then import Java model and then select your penguin and now that you have select your penguin uh, what you're gonna have to do is set up your uh, rotations now we these are the same names over here as the groups that we named it previously so generally you don't want to set any animations to the body but uh, the legs and head and stuff that you usually want to set the animations to so let's start with the head and um, we want to actually set head movement animation and then for right foot uh, I believe what we want to do is just um, have it right leg swinging animation and left foot animation uh, we're gonna have our left leg swinging animation and then for body we are just going to leave that empty right wing so this is going to we want it to go on the uh, other axis so if we look at our arms uh, left arm and right arm we don't have a coordinate for that so we know that it's the opposite of whatever's down here so right arm left arm y so we don't need that so z would be the one that we want. So we're going to select uh, this for our left arm. Oh, we need it for our right. So right arm. No, oh, that's leg. Where is it? Right arm, and we need left arm. And that's all we need to do. Uh, then we click set animations. And if you need to edit it, then you just double click on it, and then you redo. Uh, animations again on how you want it. I'm just going to click exit because we already have it set up. So next what you want to do is use that for your um, your mob. So what we're going to do is quickly create a um, entity. So it's called a, I believe, a living entity now. And if we go and call it what we want, ping, ping, when some spelling errors are okay, it's just a tutorial. Uh, so if we select uh, this uh, for our entity model and scroll all the way down, then we're gonna select um, 
our model penguin. And for the texture, we're going to select our texture that we just uh, created for the actual UV mapping. And all this should be the same. Uh, you don't need to worry about, like, I've done tutorials on um, how to create mobs and stuff before, so just go back and watch those tutorials. I'm just going to quickly set up um, the um, settings that you would need for um, an entity and then we'll continue that. So we don't want it to do that. Uh, wander, don't need it to do that. And click next. Yes. Okay, so that's all we need to do. So we'll hop in game and I'll show you how it all works. So we're in a brand new world. Uh, I'm just going to go around and see if I can't find, oh, there's one right there. So as you can see, uh, there's they do spawn and uh, they're actually really hard, really fast. So sometimes you have to play around with the pivot location. Uh, for his wings, um, they're a little bit off um, for the location that they need to actually be pivoting, but the feet are perfectly fine. So to fix that, what you want to do is just play around with the pivot location. If we go back into our our model, so we'll go and open up block bench again. This is why you want to save uh, your work as well. So if we select our arm and uh, we have our left wing here, it looks like uh, some of the pivot locations might be off. So we'll see if we can't fix that. Um, so we want it somewhere around here. Um, depending on where it is, you might want to center it too. So we'll try centering it. And, oh, hold on a second. Okay, yeah, so the pivot locations are off quite a bit so what we want to do is move this over here and oh, not up move it center center like that so that that was my fault that's why uh, we also want to save right so save project and then we're going to export export entity yes and we're going to delete our old one I'm going to save this one, even if it does say uh, save it or replace it, just make sure to replace it. And then we can close out of this. And then we'll go back into M Creator and we'll select our resources, we'll delete this particular um, model. Now if it's the same name it should be fine. So we're just going to import another Java entity, Penguin. And then we're going to select our right foot animation. So we're going to go and select uh, left leg. Oh, that's right. So we need right leg, left, left leg, and body. We don't need anything. Head we do. Head and our right, our right wing, and our left wing right arm there we go and set animations and then because it's the same name it should be fine to work with so we'll just uh, make sure to compile it so we're going to click the little hammer up icon up there and it's going to basically compile and then we're going to hit play and then we'll hop back in game I wouldn't say a little bit better but it's getting there it's um, seems to be a little bit closer to the actual entity so you might want to center it to the actual model like right in the center of the model itself um, that might fix some issues um, but it's just going to take a lot of playing around with another thing that you might be able to do is offset the, the rotation of the actual wings and just have it on an angle so it's like um, kind of like like that or maybe even just a little bit like that so it will um, have a little bit easier rotation when it's actually flipping and stuff but uh, outside of that that's uh, mostly a 
a design issue that you'll have to play around with yourself. Um, other than that, hopefully you guys found this uh, tutorial series helpful. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you liked about it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.